happy 4th of July. Hot dogs are the all-American cookout food. And the best way to celebrate Independence Day this year is with the ultimate hot dog bar. My favorite thing on a hot dog is actually grilled vegetables. Onions, corn, and peppers. Y'all know I'm a Georgia girl. These are Vidalia onions. If you grill it in a whole piece, you can cut them after they're cooked, and that way it helps prevent any smaller pieces from going through your grill grates. These are the baby bell peppers, which I like just because they're a little bit sweeter than the full red bell pepper. Onions and peppers on the grill will take about 10 to 15 minutes. The corn and the hot dogs themselves will only take about seven. So I'm gonna do these for about three to four minutes before I add my corn and my hot dogs. Look at that charred pepper. I know it looks really black, but I promise you did not burn them. The charred flavor on there is going to add such a good element to your hot dogs. Now that my onions and peppers are charred on one side, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my corn and my hot dogs. Corn cooks super quickly. If you've never had corn on a hot dog, y'all, now is the time to try it. My dad said, if you're not sweating when you're grilling, you're not doing it right. Well, I'm, I'm doing it right. Now that I've made room on my grill from the onions, it is time for the weenies. I'm just gonna take a moment to appreciate the hot dog. So whenever you go to a barbecue, you have two options, hamburgers and hot dogs. I am 110% team hot dog. Whenever you grill your hamburger and you put it out for a cookout, it dries out. Hot dogs will stay juicy and delicious. And you can customize your toppings literally any way you want to with a hot dog. And they just have so much more flavor. And I am just really adamant that you should love hot dogs as much as I do. My corn and my weenies are looking great. I'm gonna take my corn off so I can cut it off the cob, turn the grill off, and wrap the weenies in tin foil and leave them in the grill with the heat off so that they can stay warm while I get the rest of my hot dog bar ready before my friends arrive. Before we get this party started, I have to give you the lowdown on all the ingredients on this hot dog bar. If you want restaurant quality hot dogs, y'all, the secret is steamed buns. All you do is put a little bit of water in the bottom of your crock pot, wrap all of your buns in aluminum foil, and then set them on top of the rack. Put it on warm and your buns will be perfectly steamed for your party. I am a sucker for everything bagels. And if you haven't tried the everything but the bagel seasoning from Trader Joe's, you're sorely missing out. I cracked the egg white into a small bowl, whisked it for a few minutes with a fork until it was frothy, brushed it on the outside of my buns and sprinkled it with everything seasoning. Then I put them in the oven for eight minutes just until they were dry to the touch, took them out and let them cool completely. It really elevates your hot dog to the next level. Second most important thing to the hot dog spread, condiments. Some people get really intimidated about having to fill up these squirt bottles, but I have the trick for you. Get a Ziploc bag or a piping bag if you have it, and then you can easily squirt it into your squirt bottle, mess free. This mayonnaise I mixed with a little bit of Cajun and Creole seasoning. Y'all know how much I like spicy food, or you can just do regular mayonnaise. Mess free, right here on the hot dog bar. As far as the rest of the ingredients go, the sky is the limit. The hot dog bar is literally up to you. This is what I put on mine. The charred onions that I grilled that I cut into bite-sized pieces, slaw because it's a hot dog bar. These are those crispy shoestring potatoes. I think they're called picnic potatoes that you can get in the chip aisle. Pickled onions, the best kind of onion. Charred peppers from the grill. Pickle relish because it's not a hot dog bar without it. Charred corn. Also, my love for pickled okra is beyond all love of all other foods. Crumbled bacon, fresh jalapenos instead of pickled, but you can do whatever you wanna do. PSA, cheese is not just for hamburgers. Underneath it, you can put ice to keep your cheese from getting all that hot, nasty film that goes on top of it. Sliced green onions, fresh cilantro, and French's fried onions to add a little bit of crispiness to your hot dog. And that's it. 
And I say that's it as in this is a lot for a hot dog spread, but the great thing about it is people will have endless amounts of options to create their perfect hot dog. I like to call my hot dog the onion dog because it has all of the onions on it. Shredded cheese. Real mayo. Literally best hot dog you'll ever put in your mouth. While my friends get in here to celebrate 4th of July by making their perfect hot dog, you can like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you're watching on YouTube, you know what to do. Click the bell. We'll see you next time on Hey Y'all.